Crew, I'm back with another bang up for you. Yes, I am, y'all. Let's say grace. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. Made me nurse my body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <sighs> What's up, y'all? Y'all missed y'all so much. So, what am I eating today? I got some small sausages, boiled eggs. They are cooked uh, five minutes, so they are running in the middle. And I'm eating these noodles. I don't want to mispronounce them. The Carbana, I think that's how you say it, whatever. All right, so I have so much to talk to y'all about. Okay, so I have some more eggs that I'm gonna put back here. They didn't work out. <laughs> they didn't work out, y'all. I'm just gonna throw them back there. But anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm, uh, Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everybody you know, okay? So, um, let me eat a little bit and then we'll get into this whole Hurricane Ida situation and why I've been gone. Ooh, it's hot. some extra cheese in here um yeah I bought these wooden chopsticks because the ones I had were plastic I don't feel like these work as good as my plastic ones let me see if I'm tripping Let's see. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel. So creamy. Mm, I don't know. I've had these one time on my channel one time before <clears throat> ah. okay I don't know what's up with my skills today with my chopsticks let me show y'all my egg so Yes, hunty. Excuse the dog barking. My neighbor is outside with their dog. Runny yolk is everything, y'all. I know a lot of you don't like it, but it is so good. This is so good. <clears throat>
I watch, a, like, when I do watch mukbangs, I like to watch a lot of the Korean mukbangers. And that's where I got the idea to do this from. That's where I got this idea from. I might also hear the lawnmower. The grass is getting cut right now. I just chose a horrible time to film. <laughs> I chose a horrible time. <clears throat> but I've been so ready to get back to you guys. I have been gone because of Hurricane Ida, y'all. It was crazy. Um, we knew the storm was coming, but it we weren't sure that we were gonna get hit the way we were gonna get hit. So usually when there's a hurricane, they'll close the schools like a day before so you can prepare and then and then you can, um, so that you can evacuate or whatever the case may be. But we still went to school. Excuse me. We still went to school and everything because I don't think anybody expected this hurricane to grow how it grew. You know, it grew really fast. So we were, when we got out of school, um, we were debating like, should we stay, should we go? So, we got out of school on that Friday. We're like, we weren't sure, but my fam, my like immediate family, they were all evacuating to text to Houston. But, you know, I had just, I, you know, I've only been in my house a little while and I was just like, I don't want to leave my home. You know what I mean? So, um, overnight, Hurricane Ida grew so fast that we were just like, okay, we're going to leave. So we got up Saturday morning. We, me and my fiance, we boarded up the windows, um, put everything that we had uh, away, that everything we could, we put it away. And um, we, we left, we headed to Houston. It took us, because of so many people evacuating, it took, Houston is about a five hour, five and a half hour drive from here. It took us 11 hours to get to Houston because of evacuating traffic. <clears throat> and 
and we were lucky for the 11 hours because my dad has a trucking company so he's like he knows the road <coughs> he knows the road so he took us through like these back ways which gave gave us like an 11 hour trip people that we talked to that um evacuated to houston they were they had like a 15 hour trip taking the normal the normal um route that you would take to houston so while we're while we're in Houston, um, the kids, the kids were on cloud nine because you know they were like on a vacation. But we adults were really concerned because we were worried about like you know how what condition our homes would be in when we got back, you know. Yeah, what condition our homes would be in when we got back. So, we eventually came back home and it was, the damage was unreal. Like, I'm going to put some of the damage at the end of this video so you guys can see. Some of the damage that took place but it was like it it's still like right now there um the like there's nothing open really um if you're from louisiana you know about rouses rouses is open um The Walmart neighborhood markets, they're open. You can't purchase a lot of things. You know, you can only purchase certain things. But like fast food, um, Popeye's just opened up and like Burger King just opened like three days ago. But you can't, they only are selling, I think like Whoppers and cheeseburgers. Um, and they don't have lettuce or tomato. So, yeah, uh, we just got power, electricity a couple of days ago. So I, that's why I couldn't film or anything. And I probably could have like tried to film, but it was such a headache with being, like living the way we had to live. We're on a curfew because a lot of the area does not have lights or anything. So like when it gets dark, it's dark on the roads. Um, what else? And so that you know how bad my area got hit, if you were listening to the news and everything, I live like in Terrebonne Parish, but like I'm like not far from the food, so Terrebonne, Terrebonne and Lafouche Parish area, Homa, Thibodeau area. If you were listening to the news, you heard those places really big. That's where I'm at. And that's where the um, Hurricane Ida went straight through that area. So that's why we got hit so bad. My home had some damage, but nothing compared to, um, nothing compared to what I saw when we came home and rode around like the kids were just like in awe we were in awe but they were in awe like had never seen anything like that before i haven't either <clears throat> and it's weird because gas lines are super long i mean 
before our electricity came on, we were getting up at 5 a.m., 4.30 to get in line for gas, and we would make it home to about 10.30, 11 o'clock. That's how long the lines were. Um, and the gas stations were only open from a certain time. Um, there's military trucks riding around, army trucks riding around. It's just like a, it's, it's just like a movie out here. Um, yeah. There's a lot of different churches and uh, places from, like, I will say that a lot of places from out of state and everything have come to help and support. So they're giving away food and water and things like that. So that's a good thing. <clears throat> but it's just so many people, so many people without power, like my parents, my sister, my brother, they still don't have power. Um, so this was the only egg that came out like perfect for me. Mm. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just really, really crazy. And like I said, I'll put footage at the end of the video. Also, I want to give a shout out to everybody who, um, reached out subscribers, <clears throat> YouTubers that reached out, uh, by your kitchen guy, ex Tina. Um, I'm actually going to do another video because I was supposed to like write everybody down. So I'm going to do another video and I'm going to shout all of you guys out because you did not have to reach out to me. I mean, I got love from some people and I just really appreciate it. So if I did not say your name, don't worry, I will be shouting you out in the next video because I appreciate you. Um... I have a lot of content I have to get out because I wasn't able to upload or anything with no internet. It just was not working. <laughs> Cellular service is horrible right now. Even with electricity, it's horrible. But yeah, I'm going to definitely shout you guys out because you did not have to reach out to me. And I really appreciate all of you. Um, Miss Darlene, I just, it was a good amount of people. So I just, I definitely want to do another video, just shouting you guys out and thanking you for, for reaching out. Um, cause it really makes your day when people reach out to you who don't have to, you, you feel don't have to, you know? So yeah, the damage here is pretty bad and I'm thankful that my home didn't suffer that much damage. <clears throat> um, like my front walkway collapsed. So gotta get that done, taken care of, just a lot of little things. I am full, oh, this is so good. My, I've been taking the, um. Hold on, let me grab them. <clears throat> I've been taking these and like my appetite is just not what it used to be since I've been taking these. Like I just can't eat like I used to. Not that I can't, but I just don't have the urge to or anything. And they don't taste bad. This is not a promo. <laughs> this is not a sponsorship. I'm just letting y'all know, you know. This has really been helping me out with just like not eating so much and getting ready for this wedding, okay? Um, yeah. Trying to eat a lot of fruit and veggies. I saw um, Marquise has uh, like some healthy videos and he looks good, okay? He looks good. He been working out that body. That body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Mm. He's a good. 
I'm jealous. But yeah, this YouTube thing, not YouTube, I'm not gonna say YouTube, but mukbang, doing mukbangs can really make you lose yourself. I'm like, lose your look. I saw last night, I think ex Tina had posted something about the way she looked, um, being able to look like that again, you know? It's like, I just don't, I don't wanna feel like that, you know? I don't wanna get too out of the way to where I am worried about, too stressed out about how I look, you know? Cause it would really kill me. <laughs> but yeah, Marquise is really doing his thing. I mean, working out and everything. So, yeah. Last bite for me, y'all. Make sure y'all stay and see some of the damage, y'all. It's crazy. Make sure you pray for Southern Louisiana or South Southeastern Louisiana. Um, there's a lot of people that need your prayers here. A lot of people. But yeah, definitely thank you to everybody who supported, well, not supported me, but just reached out once again. And I'll definitely be shouting you out um, in my next video. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I missed y'all so much. I really, 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 really missed y'all. So I really wanted to do this video. I was like, oh. But anyway, I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.